Hi Ho. Uh, just a quick one on which headphones can go balanced. Uh, I've got another video explaining how balanced headphone drive works, but I still get a lot of people asking whether we can convert their headphones to take a balanced connection. So I just thought I'd go through which ones are easier, which ones are hard. So there's basically four main flavors of headphone. First and most easy peasy one is going to be one that has a dual sided detachable cable. So with this one, all you have to do is buy a new cable, you can plug that into your balanced amplifier. The next easiest one is probably a dual sided fixed cable. With that, probably your uh, cheapest and easiest option is just to um, cut the end off there and solder on something like an XLR or something. That will give you balanced. Because this has got a cable going to each, ears, each ear, it means there'll be two wires from each, there'll be a four wire cable and you can wire it up to be balanced. The other option is obviously rewiring it, just fitting a new cable. Uh, next would be a single-sided cable with a uh, single-sided headphone with a fixed cable. Now then, this is likely to only have three wires because it will have a uh, shared ground for the left and right. With that kind of setup, you can't just replace the jack. You have got to replace the whole cable, so you'd have to re-cable these to make them balanced. And finally is a detachable single-sided cable. This is probably the worst because it's already got a socket in there. It's going to make replacing the cable very difficult because the socket probably won't have enough connections. So you're going to have to replace the socket or drill the socket out and hardwire it. Basically it's not very easy to do a neat job on a pair of headphones that have got a single-sided detachable cable. So a lot of the Bose headphones and stuff, it's just not worth going balanced for the, for the small advantage you get. Uh, there are some exceptions like the Sennheiser 598 and some of the Oppos which have got a full uh, full pin connection in the socket, but um, those are few and far between. So in general, dual sided detachable, super easy, just change the cable, this uh, fixed dual sided, solder on a new jack, pretty cheap, fixed single cable, you have to replace the cable. And then one with a detachable single-sided cable, not really worth bothering with. While I'm at it, uh, there's lots of different balance connections. There's 2.5mm, 4.4, 4-pin XLR, 2-3-pin XLRs, and lots of other little obscure ones. They all basically do the same thing. they got four wires inside, and uh, two for left, two for the right. So, so here's one, like, a lot of people ask which is best. They're all going to be pretty similar, but... The 2.5 mil is my least favourite because uh, just because just it's so compact, there's not enough room in there really, and also they're quite fragile because they're so thin and they've got four connections in them. There's much more chance of them breaking than if you get a, an XLR of 4.4 mil, something like that. So my favourite ones: 4 pin XLR and 4.4 for portable. And I think the 2.5 is slowly dying out. A and K again over a 4.4 now, but all of them basically do the same thing uh, so I wouldn't really worry but if you've got a choice on your player of different ones I'd go for just just the biggest one that you can because it's going to be more durable all right uh, if you've got any questions stick them in the thing and I will try and get back to you like and subscribe if you want to see more kind of headphone nerdy stuff and uh, that's it really um, fun hanging out see you again